pitcher Dylan Hathcock. Sunday starter throughout the course of the regular season. And Davis, the arbitrator at third. Line drive and Gaddis reels it in from his knees. And well, Gaddis, a versatile athlete. He can catch, he can play some third right where he was yesterday. And a little soft liner into his webbing. Schneider with an RBI opportunity here in the first. He's tied for most RBIs in program history. He needed four coming into the tournament. He's got four, chases that pitch high and out of the zone. And Dylan Hathcock with his first strike out of the afternoon. In one park in Marion, Illinois. As the first pitch, did it hit Gaddis? It did, so he's awarded first base on the... Yeah, definitely got him. It's Hits sharply to left field. So Devin Brown with a two-out single. And that was single already today. Rolls the first pitch to the first baseman. Nice scoop by Alex Strachan. Got him an all-or-nothing play. Ends the inning. And then swung it to first. There's strike three swinging. Four punch outs for Dylan Hathcock. But the leadoff double this time is not left stranded. And Moorhead State through three and a half takes a one nothing lead. They won't come back for a few years, but I don't know, maybe like 2022 they will. That's past the glove of Snyder and down the right field line. Trevor Snyder normally makes, and it is an error on Snyder. Really count. Liner out to right center field. It might split the gap. Pauly's over and it does get to the fence. Gaddis circles third and he's headed home. An RBI triple for Isaac Alexander and we are tied. Fourth triple this season, which is tied for most in the OVC this season. More importantly, he ties the game at one for Jacksonville State. You're asking about the turf on grass. That's maybe a double. Pauly can get to that ball, but a little extra zip to it. Rolling on the artificial surface. There's ball four. And this has been a different loony since the errors started the inning. Shoot, it's not me. That ball smacked out to left to base hit. The mustached man, Devin Brown, delivers a lead for JSU. The sayings for Jacksonville State head coach Jim Case is, he said, sometimes guys will just try too hard. And Coach Case will tell him, you know what? Don't try too hard. Try easy. There's an easy liner for a base hit out into the gap. Jacksonville State gets two more, and Carson Crows into second base with a two RBI double. Stratchin, two Hathcock, one, two, three inning. Four Prairie contract there last year. He's got ball four here. No one, two, three inning for Corey Conway. Mets, Red Sox. Liner up the middle, it's in for a base hit for Isaac Alexander. Second straight at bat with a hit for him. 0-2. He gets past Fain. Two into scoring position with two outs for JSU. And after a four run fourth, the Gamecocks can crack it open with Strachan at the plate. Ball four. Three straight base runners for, for uh, JSU. Kind of a good team. Lined in the hole, base hit. Devin Brown looking for two more RBIs, and he's got them. He's broken it open, six to one in the fifth. Have yourself a day, Devin Brown. Three hits. He's got an RBI machine this afternoon. Six-one lead now for Jacksonville State. That looked very similar to his single that started the day. It's three for three, three ribbies. And remember
remember, this is Payoff pitch. Wave and a miss. Second strikeout for Hathcock against Snyder and his sixth overall. Is that what happened? Low tapper to second base. Frederick zooms in and retires the side. JSU closes this out today. It's a 12-game winning streak. Poked to shallow left. The infield was shifted. So Hill goes out. Nobody's got to play. It bounces over Hammond. And it's a bloop double for Alex Webb, senior, on this Jacksonville team. Shoots one back through the middle, in in front of Pauly for a base hit. Green light for Webb. RBI single, Nick Gaddis. 7-1 lead in the sixth. That ball spiked, bangs off the bricks. Could be a play at the plate, there's not. Fane's dive is late. Nick Gaddis in with the eighth run for the Gamecocks. Since the fourth inning. Strike three looking for Carson Crow. And he would have needed like a 12 foot pole to go get that one. It's a friendly strike three call. Here's another look at it. Hit a spot, catcher outside. Case makes the signal to the bullpen. What a performance on the mound today though for Dylan Hathcock. Well, Christian Edwards, the new pitcher on the mound for Jacksonville State. There they go, payoff pitch. Swung on and missed, a fastball up and out of the zone. So Edwards comes in and strikes out Stephen Hill for Moorhead State. And his first pitch to Adams is driven in the air towards left field. One pitch and a single for Adams. And he will hustle for second as the left fielder Hammond had issues with it. So Nash Adams on second to begin the bottom of the seventh. Here's Kirkland, he drops a bunt. Stephen Hill charging in, throws to first in time to get Trey Kirkland, who puts the runner on third. And Came in Colorado. 3-2, hit in the air, deep towards left field. Going back is Hammond. He's at the wall. He leaps, and he makes the catch. But tagging from third and scoring is Nash Adams. And moving to third is Cole Frederick. One hopper to third. Stephen Hill fires it to first, and it's... Dropped by Snyder and a run across the plate for Jacksonville State. High and deep, right center field. Kirkland is on the move, and Kirkland makes a sliding effort and comes up with it. Unbelievable grab by Trey Kirkland, and that will end the Moorhead, Moorhead State threat as Jacksonville State will take a seven-run lead as Moorhead State does play one run on one hit. But they leave two runners on base. Two, one, and Quietly, one, two, three in the bottom of the eighth. But the Gamecocks just three outs away from securing their first tournament title in five years. Hammond pops one up to the center fielder, Trey Kirkland. And that's the first out. You know, Quarterly Woods has kind of earned his way into a chance to be the guy that they dogpile on. Ground ball, this could be to Alexander Frederick to stretch in, and that will do it as Jacksonville State wins the 2019 OVC Baseball Championship. It's their fifth overall and their first in five years.